Let's talk about the object tree. See our mouse down here at the bottom right. We click and the object tree opens. We can see everything that's happening on our chart. We've even made our own group here called drawings. And if you look closely, we have every drawing shown in this group. And we've even changed the names of some of them so that they're easier to spot. Levels to watch, that corresponds to this. This text, earnings to watch, corresponds to that. Very easy to see and manage. So your object tree is how you manage everything that's happening on your chart. It's how you see everything that's going on. Your drawings, your indicators, the objects on it. It's all right here. Object tree. Click it to open and you can get started. As you can see, here's our moving average. We click this. It's selected it right from the object tree. We can hide it. See now it's gone. We can also delete it and remove it by clicking the X. We can right click and make some adjustments to it right from this new menu, add an alert, add an indicator strategy, change its visual order, move it, pin to a scale, look at its source code. It's all right here. If we click settings, of course, well, now we can adjust the moving average right from our object tree. So the object tree is how you manage everything that's going on. And we'll show you a few examples. How about? So why don't we add a few more drawings to this chart? A an interesting one, we can take our highlighter and why don't we highlight an important level that we find interesting. And in this instance, we're going to highlight this, this action right here, right across the chart. We're just gonna highlight this because this is kind of that low of the candle after earnings. Here's the earnings report. So here's the spike, then there was a low and then it popped and it's been going down since. We can also add another drawing and why don't we take the arrow marker and let's just point to something that's significant to us and we'll point to this high wick because this is the post earnings high. So then we will add text to this arrow, double click text and let's say post earnings high. And let's move this to the left. Okay, so we can also change the color of this so it stands out a little more. Remember, this is just an example. We want to show you how you can use this. So if you recall, we've added this highlighter. It's sort of this teal. We're just saying this, this looks interesting. And then we've added this arrow and text post earnings high. Let's head over to our object tree. And would you look at that highlighter and arrow? They're both right here. And if you pay close attention, when we click these drawings right from the object tree, the toolbar adjusts with it so you can quickly edit, see, and fix, or you know, just make changes to your drawings. And let's make a new group for these. So we're going to click this folder icon. And as you can see, group one, arrow, we've now added a new group. And what we'll call this group is, is we'll call this group, how about highs and lows? And with this, group now we're just going to be drawing arrows and adding arrows to it of the highs and the lows so let's add some more arrows this is the post earnings high this line this one right here is the post earnings low so let's add this again post earnings low and we can then extend this post earnings low and then let's add one more arrow as well and what we'll do is we will say that this is the post earnings downtrend, post earnings downtrend. Because if you remember from earlier, what we were saying is, let us just quickly fix this, is this E icon means the company reported earnings. And if you look, here's the earnings report and look what happened the day after, popped, sold off. Next day, went higher, next day went higher. And then ever since this day, it's been going down so this downtrend line and now we have these arrows here and these are the highs and the lows so let's multi-select these arrows let's drag them into the highs and the lows and now as you can see we have these groups this highlighter tool is going to go in this drawings folder because if we open up this drawings folder we've added all of these notes so let's actually call this our let's change the name of this group to this is our anno Annotations. Let's call this price annotations. And what we mean by that is this group we've created is all of our price annotations. It's this highlighter. It's this text levels to watch. It's this text earnings move. It's this brush. So we've added this 
let's move this down a little. It's this brush earnings. Here's the earnings move. It's this brush. See this circle stroke that we've added? That's what the brush means because it's the brush tool that we've drawn with. You can see it's added there. Let's undo that. And then this trend line and, of course, this gap fill area rectangle. And what we'll do really quick is we'll double-click this and let's center this text. And if you're paying close attention, you see how fast we're able to edit from here? So we can now click this rectangle and let's do gap fill. So there's our gap fill. Let's click this trend line. It's this down trend line. And let's do down trend. And then this highlighter is going to be the, uh, let's call this the bounce zone. The bounce zone is the highlighter here, this bounce zone. And then we have these arrows. But it's kind of confusing because how do we know which arrow is which? Well, like we said, you can quickly rename these by right-clicking, then clicking rename and you can rename them. So if you see it's been selected here, now we can call this, call this one downtrend as well. Click this. You see over here, post earnings low, it's been selected. You see that you see it's been selected there. Let's call this the earnings low. You click this and you see the arrow here, post earnings high. So now we can do earnings high, earnings high. And how cool is this now? We have a chart right in front of us with all of our annotations, drawings, notes, even our indicators, moving average, moving average, and the object tree allows us to see all of it. We can organize it by folders. We can also, you know, make these folders work for us in the sense that we can multi-select items like that and then make bulk edits so we could change them all. You see now they all change to one color. Let's do this again. How about let's go back to blue. They all went to blue. And of course, you can just select the folder and it selects every tool. And so the object tree is so important to managing your chart because you can see everything that's going on. Let's say you're managing a chart that's really busy. This chart is now pretty busy. And we want to, you know, clean it up a little. We want to make this chart really simple. We want to see everything that's going on. And that happens to a lot of users because what will happen is they may have tons of, of indicators on their chart. They may have a lot going on and, you know, we can add volume. Uh, what else could we add? We could add Bollinger Bands. And so if you take a look now, this chart is getting really messy. We are studying so many things at once. We have MACD. We have two moving averages. We have Bollinger Bands. We have drawings about earnings, the post earnings highs, downtrends. These are all of our notes. This huge gap fill area is right in front of us. Guess what? We go to our object tree. We click, and it's all right here in front of us, even MACD. We can now choose to hide this. We can just remove it all together. We see our Bollinger Band, same thing. We can hide it. Volume, we now know it's here. Maybe we want to make some edits to volume. We just double click right from our object tree. Let's say we want to make our volume bars all one color like that. Well, that's all we had to do was just double click right from the object tree, make the edits right then and there, and we're good to go. Moving average, say, you know, we have these two moving averages. We have the blue moving average here and the yellow moving average well the charts too noisy let's remove one so we double click and we see this is the 20 day moving average we're going to get rid of this for now because we want to only focus on this 50 day right here now we open up our groupings and we can see the highs and lows that we marked the price annotations that we created and we can make bulk edits if we wanted to we could select this whole folder and then ready hide everything. We could do the same for this. And if we wanted to hide everything without, uh, you know, deleting anything because we like our drawings, we just want to see a simple chart again with just our indicators, you could do that. Or maybe you just want to remember what the highs and lows are. You can hide and you can hide and unhide just like that. So it's really, really helpful. And you can even, if you see this button here, clone and copy right from the object tree. So watch what happens when we click clone. It's just been cloned. And if you want to clone tons of drawings really quickly, look at this. It just works that easily. It's absolutely fantastic how quickly that works. And then, of course, we can delete them just as quickly. So this is a really helpful tool for managing your chart. 
This is sort of like your, you know, almost think of it as your drawing command center. When you need to see everything on your chart, when you need to make bulk adjustments and multi-select items, go down to your object tree, click to open it, and get started. And you can create groups, you can drag drawings around, multi-select them, you can edit right from the object tree by double-clicking on anything, or even better, you have tons of options when you right click. So you see how we're right clicking and now look what we can do right from the object tree. So we hope that you enjoy this video and what we really just want to say is get started by going right to your object tree. And it's this button right here, bottom right, object tree, multi-select drawing tools, manage everything that's happening on your chart, create groups and uh, you know, just always know what's happening. Do not, you know, a lot of people will draw tons of indicators and drawings on their chart and it will get overwhelming. You know, this is going to be a dramatic example, but let's just say something like this happens over time. You start drawing so much and you've just sort of lost track of what's going on. And look, that's going to happen. Even the best traders sometimes are going to overdraw and just overanalyze the chart and they need to take a step back well, if we open our object tree, we can do that really, really quickly. Watch how fast we'll bring this chart back to normal so that you can see everything that's going on. We're just going to hide all these. We don't even want to see the moving average anymore. And that's all we want to see. And we just brought this chart back to normal. We have our Bollinger Bands, really simple volume, all one color. We've, we've even marked our post earnings high and post earnings low and our post earnings downtrend, and it's all that simple right from the object tree. Thank you for watching. Please write us any comments or questions below. Our team will help you the best they can, and we really hope that the object tree becomes an incredibly valuable tool to your process. This organization will just change the way you analyze, annotate, and draw on your charts, because now you know where to go to select the drawings or the objects and make adjustments quickly. So thank you for watching. We will see everyone shortly.